is Randy Peon on K-Rez Radio. That's K-R-E-Z Radio, the voice of the Coeur d'Alene Indian Reservation. And Coeur d'Alene people, our reservation is beautiful this morning. It's a good day to be indigenous. It's 45 degrees in the sun. It's 8 a.m. Indian time in 1998. And it's time for the morning traffic report. For that, let's go to Lester Falls apart at the K-Rez traffic ban, broken down at the cross. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> What's cracking, everybody? This is Lucky Loco with my top five Chicano movies. As you can tell right here, Boulevard Nights, definitely OG movie. Had to go check it in, man. This is my number five movie for obvious reasons, man. Has a whole Stilo, has a whole East LA vibe to it, has a whole Chicano flavor to it. And it's definitely OG movie, man. Uh, it's uh, it's definitely, man, a lot of great uh, quotes, a lot of good uh, good laughs, a lot of good memories whenever I watch this movie. So this is where it comes into play. This is my number five, and it's cool. I mean, it's definitely, it's a great, great movie. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, man, check it out. It's Boulevard Nights, but for those who, who know about this movie, this is definitely a rocker, dude. This is super cool. Has uh, Popeye from the... Uh, oh, no, not Popeye. Puppet. Big Puppet on this one. So I definitely appreciate you guys tapping in and checking this out, man. This is super dope, and I appreciate it. As you can tell, my number four movie right here, definitely a classic, man. This is definitely a banger. Lou Diamond Phillips. All kinds of great actors, man. Edward J. Almost. Uh, Stand and Deliver. This is definitely a great movie. I remember watching this as a little kid. I think I was about maybe eight, nine years old, tripped out on it. I was like, man, do people really act like that in school? You know, definitely got me scared of high school. I'm <laughs> just kidding. But yeah, this is definitely a great movie. Stand and deliver. Go ahead and check it out, man. And let me know what you think in the comments of the movies and my uh, order of the movies. I mean, definitely everyone has their own opinion. You know, number five, number four, and this is definitely a great movie. It's a classic, man. I definitely appreciate all the stuff on here, man. It's uh, it's definitely a great movie. Go ahead and check it out. This made my number four. I definitely appreciate it. Uh, I'm probably going to watch all these old classics later on, man, because I still got it. Uh, only one I don't got is the, is a few other classic greats, but, you know, YouTube definitely has a few options to watch the full movies or uh, rent them. So let's go ahead and check it out, man. Let me know what you think of Stand and Deliver. I definitely love this movie. A classic and it was uh, definitely a great movie. Now let's get into my number three. Now the number three is a real tricky one, man. It's caught between a couple other movies that I really like. Uh... The number three movie right here is definitely a controversial movie. A lot of people were hurt making this movie. Um, you know, he definitely did a lot of damage to a person's character that this movie was based upon. But without this movie, man, I know it was supposed to bring um, gang awareness to it. And it definitely uh, it did quite the opposite. It really spread the word, spread the spread their movement definitely like wildfire. I mean, after watching this, everybody had their hair slicked back and ready to go to prison. You know what I mean? Um, it's uh, definitely a classic. It's a great movie. I really enjoy it. You know, it definitely, I remember watching this as a little kid, and this it was definitely with the business. It definitely scared, almost scared straight. I still went my route, but it was definitely a great movie to watch. And I watch it every once in a while. You know, it has a, the soundtrack was dope. Had uh, Kid Frost on there with his with his twist with Ain't No Sunshine. And, you know, just a lot of great, um, you know, oldies. That's another thing I really enjoyed about this movie. It was uh, back in the 90s, man, when you, uh, when you came out with a movie, there was definitely a soundtrack. And that was before the whole YouTube, Spotify and being able to listen to a bunch of great music on one album. And at that time, I believe it was cassette for me. If you had a CD player back in the day, you were balling. But this is definitely one of the movies I enjoy and will continue to watch. Even though it has its own little twist to it. To a lot of uh, lies to the movie and stolen stuff. 
from people that were really in the system. And, you know, if you can watch like the interviews of Danny Trejo and listen to anybody else that this movie is about, uh, you definitely, but it brings awareness of the gang culture and what goes on in a secret group that I choose not to mention because I am not an idiot. So, um, I really appreciate it. This is definitely a great movie. Um, besides all that, like when I didn't know anything about uh, anything, I was really intrigued by this movie. It's definitely a powerful movie. And it brings a lot of awareness to where it's at. And I definitely appreciate it. It's a, it's a great movie. This is the one I chose. And let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you think about American Me. And what, uh, what impressions it made on you. Because I know it's a very deep movie. And it's definitely, it's it's a crazy movie. Yepa, yepa, yepa. Give me some chum chum. As you already know, this comes into number two, man. This is one of my favorite movies, man. It's definitely caught between this one, man. This one made my number two on the list, man. It's definitely a classic, dude. And that, I mean, you want to break... You want to break bread with somebody, you you meet a group of people, you start working with a bunch of Chicanos or Mexicans at work. You want to break you want to break the ice? Definitely say a quote from this movie because this movie is definitely a classic out there. And a lot of people dig it. You know what I mean? It's a comedy. It's I can't imagine the people who wrote the script for L and Miklo and all the outtakes they had to do for, you know, the scenes in this movie is just it's crazy, dude. It's definitely, you know, top number two. It's uh, it's definitely, it's a long movie. And I definitely, I can watch this movie over and over again. And never get sick of it. Know all the punchlines. Know all the lines to the movies. And it's still there. I still get that, like, watching it for the first time type stuff. You know, it is... A really, really great movie. I can never get sick of it. It's definitely my top number two. And let me know, man. Comment of what you think. Am I right? Am I wrong for these uh, orders of movies? What are your top five? Because this is definitely... Uh, drum roll, please. Okay, this is my number one movie. And the reason why I'm going to tell you it's my number one movie... <clears throat> it was caught between... Me Familia in this movie. And Me Familia is such a dope movie, but I had to go with A Better Life. I mean, the story behind it was just intriguing and sad. It's dramatical. It's, uh, you know, an immigrant that comes into the United States and making a better life for himself. He's a single father and works really hard for a living, man. He definitely is trying to live the American dream. And it really hit home, man, because... Uh, you know, you don't, not too many people have the insights of what it's like to come over and try to make a living in a whole new country with no family, uh, no resources. And it's definitely something that you have to get into to watch. Um, yeah, just the whole uh, migrant coming in uh, and working for a living, man. And for that, my hat's off to this movie, to the producers. Uh, it's not one of the most main movies, but it's definitely a movie that I watched and really enjoyed. I really appreciate you guys tapping in, man. These are my top five movies. Let me know what you think about it and what your, are your top five movies. Comments. Let's debate. Let's chop it up. Let's get it going, man. Let's uh, I appreciate you guys for supporting the channel. Uh, we're up to 300 plus. Thank you, guys. Let's crack it.